Texas will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. That brings up second. From their own 22 yard line, second down. Mike three, dog four, yellow. Go. for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. Just throws this one away. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Red two. Go. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. On the run. The ball pops free. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Come on! So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. that on the quarterback keeper. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. They come out in a five wide set. And here's a quick throw. Tackle right around the 34. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Three yards there on the option keeper. That'll make it second and seven. Four down, four down. Mike five. Check, 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 check. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Tackled for a loss. That'll bring up third and eight. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Kill, kill, kill. And he just gets rid of it. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Texas is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Good outside run there. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll make it fourth and six. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle made at the 33 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They come out in an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Pass is tipped away. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see, his kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Texas has a three-point lead. They make the stop at the 43-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be... Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. Number 44 on the tackle at the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Go! Red two, yellow three. Yellow three. They bring him down in the backfield. He wants it all, going long. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. Tackle made at the 13. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and That'll didn't let the quarterback get away. Time. 
credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Texas leads 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Red two. He's under some heat. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Decent run here, right side. It's first down. They're inside the five. Touchdown, Razorbacks. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 79-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They get nice yardage on that run. Good for a gain of six yards. That will make it second and four. My five. My five. Kill, kill, kill. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That'll make it 39. Mike five. Mike five. Red two. And they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas holds a four-point lead. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. yards. That'll, That'll make it second and seven. seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34. Mike three. Red two. Go. Throws complete. He's hammered. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. He guns it. Got it. 
He's pushed out of bounds. That's the 24. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds right around the 20. him hard at the 14-yard line. A tight end is usually a very reliable option for the quarterback, so it's going to be interesting to see how quickly they decide to go back to him. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Once and all, going deep. Can't connect. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From their own 14-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He airs it out. And he holds it in. And he's tackled at the 14. He's got 100 yards in the game now. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Keep in mind, we're still in the second quarter, and this kid is putting up these numbers. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Red two, and go! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and goal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. Texas ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Down at the 37. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Let's it fly. Steps out of bounds. The 47-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Four down, four down. Mike three. Mike three. Red two. Red seven, red six. The Longhorns, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Longhorns offensive staff, I think, has done a good job 
of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. You've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Orange three, orange. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Easy, easy. Lose 20. That makes it first and 10. Texas is up by three. Seven. Check motion, motion, motion. Go. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's going to be in the three yards. First down. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he missed it right. No good. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He gets sacked on the play. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-7, Longhorn. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Razorbacks trailing at the end of the first half, certainly not the position that they anticipated being in. But you see this from time to time. A heavy favorite comes into a game. Maybe everything doesn't quite click in the first half. Even so, what do you think it's like in the locker room? Yeah, I, the fans obviously go crazy because they feel like you should be taking care of this team and drumming them. But the players in the locker room understand that there's two halves. And I'll never forget my sophomore year. We're playing Vanderbilt, and I'm at the University of Georgia, and it's two to nothing in the first half. You know, our offense gave up two points. We, we weren't discouraged. Were we supposed to win the game? Absolutely. Sometimes it's a sleepy environment. You don't really get up like you should. Second half, come out, you take care of business. You Listen, you realize you're the better team. You execute better. And the next thing you know, you look up and you're beating like you're supposed to. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Texas is up a field goal. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 28-yard line. some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense, and points. 
It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important board games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Mike three. Mike three. Black five. Black five. Green 15. Kill, kill. Panther two. Slings it. Tackle at the 26-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Goes right, picked off. That's a great tackle at the 50. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From midfield, first down. Texas has a three-point lead. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. Check, check. Nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. down now and they need to get it to the 26. And he tackles him hard at the 48. See if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. It's away and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Green pass. He's got his half back. Tackle made at the 17. Number 21. in the backfield at the 17-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 17. Mike three. Red two. Green eight. Motion. Motion. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down to the 33-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. Tackled at the 34. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. Get a warning on the play. Get a warning on this. That 
that brings, brings up, up second, second and nine. Incomplete, almost picked off. Number 32, the intended receiver on the play. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. Mike three. Mike three. Very good tackle in space. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Quick pass. He's on the run. And they finally push him out at the 19 yard line. After the big pass play, we've got a first down. This time they've got to be thinking, hold on to the football after that last fumble, the last trip in the red zone. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this play is number eight on the drive. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That makes it third and seven. Third down again. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Pumble, pumble, pumble. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. The Longhorns with a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Four down, four down. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Dog, four. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner, three. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And run up the gun. It's the 11th play of the drive. Defense in their short yardage package. Tries to get around the corner. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone. And he showed you why right there. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 81 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Hands it to the back. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. Feeds it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. He's on the run. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up.
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 25. A score here might effectively end this one. Arkansas is up four. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 25. Mike three. Red two. Green nine. Green nine. And he's taken down around the 26 yard line. We've got third and eight. Ball on their own 26. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Booming kick. <laughs> and he's taken down at the 47. The Longhorns have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Black five, black go! Brought down at midfield. He guns it to the left. What a pick! Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. From their own 37-yard line, first down. the middle for a nice game. Texas will have one timeout remaining. Mike three. Mike three. Oh, four. Three, 15. And he carries the ball for a nice game. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense. And at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out of the field. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, two of two on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. Second and eight. Man left, man left. Ball on the 49-yard line. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Green nine, green nine. Red seven, red go. Run. They'll go ground. Runs it right. Nice pickup. You can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And this one's all but wrapped up. 
the Razorbacks get the win, 14-10. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? you got to be really impressed with how much heart they showed in this victory. It's not a stretch to say they were outmanned, and the job they had to do to get this win was tough, but they pulled it off. Arkansas should have been happy just to keep this game close if you'd asked most people before the game. But how about this? They play a super game all around and show a ton of poise to pull off the upset. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.